We've been waiting this whole time for a West Indian store and it just never came. So after a while, you know, my family and I put together and said, let's make this happen. That's exactly what Roisin Shaw and her husband did. Created a local grocery store in downtown Bowmanville, which is near Oshawa. Normally, black residents looking for certain products would have to travel as far as Scarborough to find certain items. But now they can come here. The black population is moving east to more affordable housing opportunities. And, you know, you move out here and you move your family and, you know, you don't see very much that looks like you. You don't see yourselves represented on shelves. You don't see your rep yourselves represented out here. It means a lot when you can, you know, walk down the street and see something that literally looks like you and that you understand and that understands you. A major focus for Shaw is selling products from local vendors and people who are BIPOC. Shaw says the community has embraced her store, but the business did have to deal with issues at the beginning, issues that many racialized people have had to combat against when trying to open a business or rent a location. However, Shaw and her family are not letting anything get in their way of bringing this needed shop to Durham Region. And this whole experience, I kept saying to myself, well, why didn't someone else do it before? Well, this is why. They didn't do it because it's not easy. They didn't do it because of, I mean, the gray hairs, <laughs> the stress, the, you know, the sleepless nights. That's why, you know, it, it hasn't been done. But there's a lot of people that um, come to the store now, and I'm talking about all races, have all said, you're needed here. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, it's hard but it's worth it. The Little West Indies grocery store also has a restaurant that offers staple Jamaican dishes, among other things. They hope to continue to bring BIPOC representation to Durham Region for years to come. You can find more information about the store by searching for them on Instagram. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.